How do you with the first ray bloom? Don't you ever feel any gloom? I was asked to be the symbol of love. Have been sent from the skies above. Blooming amidst many a thorn. How do you smile every night and dawn? The color of love to the world I give. The love in me to share is why I live. Your thorns hurt and scare. How would love be that you share? My thorns are often misunderstood. At guarding me they are so good. Wow that was <laughs> amazing amazing you know uh, great to have this uh, art jugal bandi with you anu i loved creating this artwork together um, how did you feel doing this same yeah, it was very a uh, relaxing and an uh, enjoyable thing for me yeah because yeah. i always love roses a lot anything for rose <laughs> <laughs> fantastic i mean you did an amazing job uh, congratulations for that wonderful painting um i have seen a lot of your artworks actually and you seem to be a trained uh, artist are you no i am self trained artist actually oh. i am not a trained artist okay. i just uh, took couple of uh, classes art classes from a local teacher in west bengal and okay. learned some techniques of water painting as mm -hmm. well as acrylic that's it otherwise i did by my own i learned everything with my own same with me i mean i am also a, a self taught artist people ask me oh did you go to any art college and all that but no i mean i really wanted to go and study uh, art professionally but i couldn't i was i was i was actually unfortunately good in academics as well i was a rank holder <laughs> so people are like you know when you can uh, you know go and work as a let's say uh, you know the usual professions that we talk about you know art is always seen as a unconventional career path in india at least right so yeah. i had to continue with my uh, academics and uh, didn't learn art professionally though but it's good right and in a way that we are not trained artists you know in in that way we are free to do whatever we feel like isn't it yeah very true <laughs> yeah and i i heard that you are also a teacher what yes, what do you and... exactly do if you can please explain to the audience who are watching us right now uh yeah i am a teacher i started my teaching career uh, career not as a career just because i where, where i was living behind beside my house there was a uncle auntie who started okay. art classes so they asked me you know you join because you do a great art thing so i said okay i will join then i joined them later on when i shifted to bangalore after looking at my website my works and my exhibition i recently had my last solo exhibition in 2016 in bangalore only wow so while Good. looking at all those things uh, my apartment people has asked me why don't you start taking classes in bangalore too many okay why Wonderful. okay i will think about it then i started <laughs> taking classes of kids I did lots, um, lots of uh, workshop for adults also. I yeah. remember uh, for India Inclusion Summit a couple of years ago, uh, we did a shoot at the uh, uh, Spastic Society of Karnataka, and I had mm -hmm. to perform out there in front of so mm -hmm. many uh, uh, kids. Mm -hmm. And we had a great time shooting and wow. performing for all the performing kids. Performing in front of kids is really always a cherishable yeah. and yes, like. Yes, memorable, yes. and you can't you you can spend more and more times with them. I guess. Yeah, because you know, I what I feel is they are because of the innocence that they have, and they will give you the most honest feedback. They like it. Exactly. They'll tell you if they don't like it. They don't. So 
Do you have anything? I have been asking you a lot of questions, and sorry, <laughs> this should no look way. like an interview. There, but but do you have anything to uh, you know uh, share or ask? Yeah, I like to know about your life story, your journey, and what was your uh, what is your dream like? What do you want to be in oh. in <laughs> in your future? Because you I have want? never dreamt anything. <laughs> no actually sometimes you know like uh, the dream can be like very vaguely we want to be something someone but then you know along the way you can't really predict right what happens in future like exactly. i remember when i was a kid True. i used to paint like 8 to 10 hours a day like we didn't have any disturbance at that point of time i'm talking about 25 years ago right that well, time no mobile when, the main disturbance thing no social media which is obviously good also now through which we are able to interact but then uh, also as an artist you will do better if you are less distracted you need that focus you know to paint and i had that when during my childhood and i would spend a lot of time painting got lot of awards as a kid that encouraged me to go on and you know pursue my dream uh i used to work for uh, a software company here as an hr after working for about 6 years i quit my job because i wanted to chase my dream of passion which is art and uh, 2011 i did took that calculated risk to become a full time artist now uh, uh, you know uh, you asked me what do you want to become you know in, in one way i feel like i am already living my dream because you know there uh, how many people actually get a chance to live their dream isn't it you know like for me sure. it has been a dream journey actually moving from a corporate world to do actually something which i really wanted to do uh, this is really been an amazing journey but but as an artist you know there is always scope for improvement and i i look at my artworks and i feel maybe i should do something different maybe you know that part of the painting hasn't come out really well uh, that probably that dissatisfaction will lead to something more uh, beautiful in future let's see how it goes <laughs> true true do you, true do you also feel you know like um, when you have painted something uh, like like for me you know i a lot of on stage performances that i do sometimes people give a standing ovation also but then i come backstage and, and i'll be thinking you know i should have done that better you know that part of painting or some does that happen to you also as an artist yeah always actually there is always a scope of improvement whenever you look at it again and again now you find oh i could have done this i could have done that that so yeah. it's always there actually i think everyone is a student full life all right so um anu um so y- this has been an amazing journey for you also i have seen a lot of your works fantastic but i want to know what do you want to do in future you know do you have any plans do you want to create something more amazing in future please share with us um my plan is to share the knowledge with everyone okay, okay. and let people know what who am i what i do okay simple fantastic. not complicated <laughs> fantastic <laughs> what about you what's your plan what do you uh, want a lot of plans actually i mean uh, oh, there's wow. no end for uh, an aspiration right you know we can aspire to become more and more and uh, do a lot of uh, creative stuff but as an artist i want to do a lot of um, oil paintings going forward i have done a lot of speed paintings till now but uh, one of the area where i want to concentrate more is uh, definitely the fine art space and um, with regards to the uh, performing art space I have performed in 36 countries as of now my dream is to perform in at least 100 countries you know because oh I Oh my god. Yeah because there's no uh, language barrier at least for art right you can go to yeah. any place and perform people will still be able to connect that's the beauty of uh, art and I'm so sure. thankful that through this medium I am able to connect with you and so many more amazing uh, people who are watching us right now. So mm-hmm. thank you so much uh, thank India you Inclusion so much. Summit for uh, making this happen and thank you Anu for uh, Thank you so you much Vilas for being part of this and able to do this amazing piece of art together. Same here. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you.